exercise is often recommended for lymphedema, but what exactly does it do for the lymphatic system? Most people think of exercise as hitting the gym, working hard, lifting weights, but when it comes to your lymphatic system, it's not about intensity, it's simply about movement. My name is Kathy. I am a registered nurse, registered massage therapist, and a certified lymphedema therapist. In this video, I'll walk you through seven ways that movement helps your lymphatic system move fluid more effectively. Here's the thing. Your lymphatic system does not have a heart to pump it through your body. While it does have its own slower pumping rate, it relies on other bodily mechanisms to help it move fluid through the system. And all movement affects these mechanisms to aid lymph flow. That means every time you contract a muscle, bend a joint, or take a deep breath, you're helping your lymphatic flow. So don't underestimate the power of gentle or everyday movement. Now, when you have lymphedema, you want to be strategic. If the swelling is in your arm, include activities that activate the shoulder, the arm, and the upper body. If it's in your leg, activate the abdomen and get those hips, knees, and ankles moving. The goal is to gently pump fluid out of the congested areas and toward drainage routes that are working better. And remember, wearing your compression garment and having a targeted movement strategy is a winning combination. You can mix it up. For overall health and better lymphatic flow, combine cardio, strength training, stretching, and restorative movement like yoga or breath work. And take time now and again to check if your current routine still feels good and it supports your health goals. Doing what makes you smile, however, might be the most important part. Choose activities you actually enjoy. If walking outside brings you peace, do that. If a gentle yoga session feels good, go for it. If music makes you move, dance. Joyful movement is more sustainable and consistency is key when managing lymphedema. Now let's take a closer look at how exercise and movement help your lymphatic system work better. Let's start with something called arterial pulsations. When you exercise, your heart beats faster and more forcefully to deliver oxygen and nutrients to your muscles. This increases arterial pulsations, the rhythmic pressure waves that travel through your arteries with each heartbeat. Since many lymphatic vessels run alongside arteries, these stronger pulsations act like gentle nudges stimulating nearby lymph vessels to contract and push fluid along. Think of it like the vibration from a speaker helping to move water in a nearby bowl. Not a direct push, but enough to set things in motion. So when your heart is working harder during movement, it's not just helping your circulation, it's also giving your lymphatic system a boost. Let's take a minute now and do a bit of an exercise. With one hand on your chest and one hand on your tummy, I want you to take a nice big deep breath in through your nose. And when you're doing so, envision the air moving down to the bottom of your lungs, pushing that hand on your tummy outwards. Then breathe out, don't hold your breath. Nice big breath in and out. All right, breathe normally now. Did you notice a difference in chest and abdomen movement with each breath in and out? Deep breathing does more than calm your mind. It actually boosts your lymphatic flow, especially in the chest and abdominal areas. You see, when you take a big deep breath in, your diaphragm moves downward, increasing the pressure in your belly and lowering the pressure in your chest. Then, as you exhale, that pressure reverses. This back and forth exchange acts like a natural pump, especially around the thoracic duct, which is one of the body's largest lymph vessels located deep in your chest. This pressure pump helps draw lymph from the abdomen upwards, including fluid from the gut 
lower limbs and pelvis and encourages it to flow more efficiently into the bloodstream. At the same time, deep rhythmic breathing gently stimulates the superficial lymphatics, especially around the chest wall and upper shoulders, helping lymph drain from the arms and the trunk. Think of it as giving your whole lymph system a massage from the inside out, just by breathing deeply. Muscle contractions are one of the strongest drivers of lymph movement. When a muscle contracts, it gently compresses the lymph vessels nearby, helping push fluid along, kind of like squeezing a flexible tube of toothpaste from the bottom. This is especially important in areas prone to swelling, like the arms or the legs. But it's not just about moving your limbs. Contracting your abdominal muscles during core exercises, standing up straight, or even purposeful movements like pelvic tilts also helps lymph flow from the lower body. That's because many of your deep lymphatic vessels pass through the abdomen and rely on surrounding muscles to keep things moving. So whether you're doing a bicep curl or engaging your core during a stretch, your muscles are doing double duty, strengthening your body and supporting lymphatic drainage. Your joints aren't just for movement. They're powerful allies in lymphatic flow. Every time you bend and straighten a joint, like your knees, elbows, ankles, or shoulders, you create a pumping effect. This motion helps squeeze and release the tissues around nearby lymph vessels, encouraging fluid to move forward. And here's why that matters. Most of your body's major lymph node clusters are tucked in right around the joints. These include behind your knees, the inside of your elbows, in the groin, and above and below the collarbones. When you move these joints, even gently, you activate these regions, helping clear out the nodes and promote better drainage into larger lymphatic pathways. Think of it like giving your lymph nodes a rhythmic squeeze to keep things flowing smoothly. Whether it's a simple ankle circle or a full arm stretch, joint movement keeps the lymphatic rhythm going. Take a minute now, bend and straighten your elbow. Now bend and straighten your knees. You've just given your lymphatic system a bit of a boost. Your lymph vessels weave through layers of muscles, fascia, and connective tissue in the body, like tiny roads winding through a busy city. But when those tissues get tight, tense, or stuck, they can restrict the flow of lymph, kind of like a traffic jam, slowing everything down. That's where gentle stretching and movement come in. These actions help loosen up tight muscles and fascia, increase tissue flexibility and mobility, and reduce restrictions that can compress or kink lymph vessels. By easing this tension, you're essentially opening up the roadways, allowing lymph to move more freely through the body. It's not just about flexibility, it's about clearing the path for better drainage and flow. Things like scar tissue, surgery, chronic tension, or poor posture can all cause restrictions. That's why regular stretching and gentle mobility work can be powerful tools for your lymphatic health, especially in areas prone to swelling. Your abdomen holds a major lymph traffic hub called the cisterna chile. The cisterna chile is like a collection tank where lymph fluid from your lower body and digestive organs gathers before it travels up your body through a main highway called the thoracic duct and then into the bloodstream. When you tighten the muscles around your middle, like your tummy, sides, and lower back, it gently squeezes the lymph vessels near your digestive organs. This helps lymph fluid move toward the main lymph highway so it can return to the bloodstream. Movement also helps your digestive system work better. It stimulates peristalsis, those wave-like muscle contractions that move food and waste through your intestines. 
When digestion slows, like with constipation, lymph flow from the gut can get sluggish too. So whether it's a brisk walk or gentle yoga, exercise keeps things flowing in both your gut and your lymphatic system. Exercise also plays a role in managing body weight, and that's important for lymph flow. But how does exercise help reduce weight? Physical activity increases energy expenditure. When you burn more calories than you consume, your body taps into stored fat for energy, leading to weight loss over time. Exercise builds muscle mass. Strength training helps preserve or increase muscle mass, which boosts your resting metabolism. This means you burn more calories even when at rest. And exercise improves insulin sensitivity and regulates appetite hormones like leptin and ghrelin, making it easier to manage your eating habits and avoid weight gain. Improvement in lymphedema symptoms has been associated in the research with weight reduction. This is most likely possible because of less pressure on the lymphatic vessels. You see, excess fat, especially around the abdomen or limbs, can compress lymphatic vessels and slow drainage. Losing weight reduces this mechanical pressure, helping fluid move more freely. Also, fat tissue produces inflammatory chemicals that can impair lymphatic function. With weight loss, this low-grade inflammation decreases, improving the health of lymph vessels and surrounding tissues. And lastly, with less weight to carry, it's easier to move. And movement, we know, is critical for lymph flow. So the takeaway here, I guess, is by helping with weight management, exercise reduces physical and inflammatory stress on the lymphatic system. This allows lymph fluid to circulate more efficiently, reducing the risk of swelling, congestion, and lymphedema progression. As you can see, all movement has a powerful impact on your lymphatic system. From the deeper vessels in your abdomen to the ones just under your skin, they work through your heartbeat, breathing, muscle activity, digestion, and more. And the best part, even small gentle movements like stretching or deep breathing can help keep things flowing. Remember to check in with your doctor, physiotherapist, lymphedema therapist, or exercise specialist before starting any new exercise program. If you found this helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with someone who might benefit from it. And be sure to check out my other videos on self-care for lymphedema and swelling, including my video that teaches you how to discover if your exercise routine is working for your lymphedema. Thanks for joining me today. See you in the next one.